Hello senior school parents. Um, I'm presenting this small video uh, to give you some tips, I guess, on what might work at home to make the time more productive as we work through this period and hopefully come back to school soon. Now the first thing to talk about is uh, timetable and routines. Many students um, rely on the school and the regularity of their routines at school to uh, make sure that they're organized. So what you could do at home is try to make sure that those same routines from school are emulated at home. So put up the, the new timetable as it comes out each, uh, each week or so. Those timetables change because school um, classes are grouped together as more and more students are away. Um, but what you want to do is just make sure that those routines are continued at home. All right, communication is really important. Um, making sure you're in touch with your teachers, with your child's teachers. Making sure you're reading your child's emails each morning uh, with your child to make sure that you're both aware of what's going on. Um, you know, we know that God makes, brings good things out of every difficulty. And this is one of them. And we have such a great opportunity here to get to know our kids better, to work with them, and frankly, to enjoy this time. My wife and I have small children at home and we are doing great things at home. Well, my wife is. I'd love to be doing more with them myself, but um, she's out and about and, um, you know, this is a good time. Be spontaneous. When something comes up, go outside and do something enjoyable with your children. Something to remember is that uh, school classwork tends to be filled with discussion and introductions and we've got a lot of time spent each day uh, traveling for example doing sport now a lot of that will be removed from uh, a student's day these days so be prepared for your child to get through work a lot faster and work through them with them it leaves you time to work with your child and um, to enjoy the time together when you wake up in the morning when you're at breakfast um, get together with your child and look at that timetable communicate about what the day looks like ahead and then catch up through at some stage throughout the day and at the end of the day to see uh, what might have worked better and put some changes in practice perhaps for the, for the day ahead, the next day. Try to ensure there are times for relaxation, for recreation, for good healthy eating, enough time for sleep. Um, we want to make sure that our students are keeping going for you know a long period of time and the HSC is really about maintaining good practices over an extended period of time, exactly the same as what we're doing now. Distractions. Um, trying to manage distractions at home is really important. If you can try to emulate the situation at school as much as possible at home, so uh, we don't generally allow email during uh, class time. We certainly never allow social media during class time. And these things are temptations and they are great distractions. So what you want to do, if possible, is set up an environment at home which is just like a classroom. So think about what's on the walls even. Make sure you've got uh, timetables up, things which are conducive to good practices, good studies at home. And if you like, just try to think about what a classroom would look like um, and set up that area which is going to be the best for students to uh, work in. Make sure your child is checking in with their teachers regularly. Now, every good teacher will be looking at his or her student's progress and adjusting the plan for the lesson even, or for the, the program ahead, depending on uh, how the students are progressing and the feedback they're getting. Same thing happens when we're learning by distance. We want to make sure that um, our students are accommodated with the work and that they're keeping up. So sometimes teachers will modify the classes, modify the lessons and modify the program. So please make sure you're, you're checking regularly each morning with your child's emails to make sure that you're understanding exactly what has to be done. Be flexible in the way you're uh, in your expectations of uh, what your children can do. So as I said, we, um, we have a lot of time taken out of the day for things like travel and your child might be working through work faster than you'd expect. So start thinking about contacting your teacher for enrichment if that's necessary or um, taking the time to enjoy company together. Um, 
while you're working at home, could you choose, uh, just make sure that your child is aware that the school's ICT policies are, here, are still in place. So just encourage them, make sure that they are being kind to each other when they're online, making sure that um, they're uh, on websites which are appropriate. All of those things to protect them are still in place and they're still obviously just as important. And now some homework for our parents. If you could please take a, make a video of your own about what's working for you at home. And um, it might be everything from how the room is set up, where your child is working, uh, involve your child in the video, and anything else that you think uh, is going to help others manage this time. So what's working for you, um, anything that you think might be good for other people to know about. I'd love to see them. If you could send those videos, uh, we'll upload them to OneDrive, send me a link through your child, and then I'll get everybody to have a look at them and we'll get this happening. I'd really appreciate that if you can manage it. Do you know, um, there are so many good things that are emerging from this, uh, this period of difficulty. We are seeing our students' resilience, their good humour. We're seeing the way our parents are stepping up and appreciating the work and working with the schools. Um, and I think we'll also see that when we do get back together, we'll have a renewed appreciation for our friends, our teachers, our parents, our school. And that's a great thing. So we are seeing our students happy and resilient. We are seeing our teachers embracing the challenge. And I think this is clearly making our school a stronger school, which is good. So please let me finish with this. Christ Jesus who died, more than that, who was raised to life, is at the right hand of God and is interceding for us. Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Shall trouble or hardship or persecution famine or nakedness or danger or sword. No, in all these things we are more than conquerors through him who loved us. For I am convinced that neither death nor life, neither angels nor demons, neither the present nor the future, nor any powers, neither height nor depth, nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus our Lord. And if we keep in touch with that, and we will not be separated either. Please don't forget your video if you can find 10 minutes to put together a short clip on what's working for you. Thank you. Students have been emailed work, and this is an example of something that stage five students have been emailed for maths. So we've just started a new unit of work on data analysis, and you can see uh, we've tried to outline the lesson uh, and the relevant pages on Canvas and where relevant the textbook um, and worksheets and things like that. And this is really to help students keep track. So as they complete a particular document or a complete a quiz or complete an exercise, they can just tick to indicate that they've completed it. The Canvas pages are clearly labelled, uh, so if they go to Canvas, here's the Stage 5 Maths page. They can go to Modules and they'll be able to find um, the relevant page here. And essentially they can just work through these pages step by step. And on this page, we've tried to include all the different skills uh, that they might need for this particular topic. There's some videos as well that show students how to calculate uh, standard deviation and mean and things like that using the calculator. There's also some instruction sheets here depending on the calculator that they have. And so it kind of takes them through step by step how to do that. Students were then asked to complete a skills uh, quiz. Uh, this is what they do and many students have already done this because they started it today and I was able to see the results and give students feedback uh, based on the questions they got correct and incorrect. Some worksheets are embedded into Canvas so students can download the document. It's a Word document. Um, they can preview it here within Canvas itself and depending on their device, uh, they might annotate the document by hand or they might type um, the document if they're opening it in Word. 
and I've tried to include answers so that students can see that uh, and then they can also complete quizzes and I can see the responses and again give feedback. If you've got any questions or concerns please contact the school and of course students can be emailing their teachers directly and we'll get back to them in a timely fashion. We wish you all the best for OCS at home and uh, hope you really enjoy this experience with your families. <laughs>